The next half is your indicator electrode. And, and there are many kinds of the, the indicator electrode to use for potentiometry. So I divide it roughly into three kinds of the indicator electrodes. The first one is called metallic indicator electrode. So from the name, you can guess it is the indicator electrodes made from metal. And metallic indicator electrode has three types, electrode of the first kind, electrode of the second kind, and inner electrode. The second type of the indicator electrode is membrane electrodes, which is which uh, you can learn about glass membrane electrodes, solid state crystalline membrane and liquid polymer membrane. And the last type, we call it like field effect transistor. But since we have limited time, so we can uh, spend mo uh, most of the time to talk about the membrane electrode. We don't study field effect transistor then. For metallic indicator electrodes, you, uh, the only thing that you need to know is that you need to be able to classify the metallic indicator electrode into either the first kind, either the second kind, or either the inner type of the electrode. But I, I'm gonna not gonna like ask you about the mechanism of these three types of electrode. But it's still the good name to know, uh, good like terminology to know. Like if you go to in the future, let's say you want to do, take the GRE chemistry exam, then it still asks you, so I teach you this. But we're going to spend most of the time to talk about how the membrane electrode works because you will see it almost every day if you are in the lab. So let's do the first type, the metallic indicator electrode. So I, I even put it here, metallic indicator electrodes are not generally employed in potentiometry. And there are three types, right? First kind, second kind, and inner type. So what is the first kind metallic indicator electrode? The first kind metallic indicator electrode is the solid metal M to detect ion M. For example, if you want to detect, if you want to measure the concentration of gold three ion, gold ion, then you're gonna use the gold electrode. And this is called the first kind electrode. Or oh, if you want to measure the copper ion concentration, then you're going to use the copper electrode as your first kind metallic indicator electrode, something like that. But this example is gold, so I'm going to give explain the gold one. So uh, how do you how you going to do this? So again, you can write the nonce equation of this electrode. Uh, you don't need to know that. I again, I don't expect you to understand yet to like explain the principle i just expect you to be able to classify the stuff so for this one you just write the nonce equation of this ele this electrode this half cell and you're gonna see that the e cell depends on the concentration of gold something like that this is the first kind the second kind the metallic indicator electrodes of the second kind is the solid salt of mx in solubility equilibrium with x ion for example if you want to measure the concentration of chloride then you may use the silver chloride electrode you may use the silver chloride salt silver chloride solid salt mixed with silver like that silver silver chloride electrode something like that so this is so you want to measure chloride with it which is x and you use the solid MX, which is silver chloride. Yeah. So this is the electrode of the second kind. And the mathematics is you have already done this. So we're not gonna spend time on this. So this is the second kind metallic. The third kind is the inner ele inner electrode. For example, if you want to measure the concentration of iron three and iron two ions, but this half cell doesn't have any solid, right? This half cell doesn't have any solid, so you need some inert metal to conduct electricity and measure the potential. And again, I already explained last week that the uh, platinum is the common inert metal to use for this purpose. So this is three types of the metallic indicator electrodes. The first kind is the solid metal to detect the ion of that metal. The second kind is the solid uh, ionic salt to detect the concentration of the anion. 
and the third car is just the inert electrode. But these, these metallic indicator electrodes are not popular because first, it's that it responds to so many ions. In analytical term, we say that it is not selective. For example, if we talk about this electrode, this inert metal, <laughs> what if I have other ions, like in addition to ion three, ion two, what if I have like silver? What if I have platinum four ion? What if I have manganese? All of these ions gonna shift the electrode potential and we ruin your analysis and we ruin your analysis. So uh, this is the first reason why the metallic indicator electrodes are not popular. The second reason is that some will react with acid or base. For example, if I decide to use, let's say copper ion, or if I decide to use zinc, zinc electrode to measure the concentration of zinc, then you may know that zinc may uh, react with base or react with acid, something like this. So because most metal can react with acid or base. So that's why we don't use uh, this indicator, metallic indicator electrode. The third reason is that some electrodes are oxidized under normal condition. Like, let's say, what should be the good one? Iron, yeah, iron. If I want to measure the concentration of iron two plus, then I will use the iron solid electrode. But iron is to be easy, is too easy to be oxidized. So its property is going to shift and that will shift the electrode potential as well. So that's why the metallic indicator electrodes are not generally used in potentiometry. And that's why I don't use, I don't like expect you to know, know how do this work, but you just need to be able to classify the given example to be either first, second or inner types of the metallic indicator electrodes. <clears throat> 